Within this lesson, we'll work with subtracting decimals using a place value chart. Here we'll start with 5 and 3 tenths minus 7 tenths. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and draw a place value chart with 1s and with tenths. First off, when we're looking at this here, we have 5 and 3 tenths, and that is what we start with. So we'll go ahead and model the 5 and 3 tenths. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the 1's place. And in the 10th place, we have 1, 2, and 3. The difficulty when we are subtracting 7 tenths here is that we can't take away 7 tenths because there are only 3 tenths here. So what we need to do is that we need to regroup one of these ones here. We'll regroup one of these ones to the tenths place. And each of those ones is worth how many tenths? Right, ten tenths. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now I have five and three tenths there still modeled by four ones with 13 tenths, and I can take away those seven tenths now. And taking away those seven tenths, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This leaves us with our answer of four ones along with six tenths. So 5.3 minus seven tenths equals four and six tenths. Here I have another problem of eight and twenty-five hundredths minus two and seventeen thousandths. Now a question that's often asked is what is the smallest place value? And in this case we can see that the smallest place value is actually right here where it is that we have this in the, in the thousandths place. If I was to use a traditional algorithm I would have wanted to rewrite this as 8.250 or 8 and 250 thousandths. Let's go ahead and set up a place value chart. Here I've set up that place value chart of ones, tenths, hundreds, and thousandths. And we'll go ahead and put in that first number of 8.25 or 8 and 25 thousandths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven and eight for the ones, two tenths there, and we have five hundredths. One, two, three, four, and five. To take away two and seventeen thousandths, our problem here is that to take away these seven thousandths here, there's no seven thousandths, or there's no thousandths to go ahead and take away from. So what I will do is I will go ahead and take one of the hundredths from the eight and twenty-five hundredths, and one hundredth is worth ten thousandths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And then now I can go ahead and take away seven of those thousandths from the for the two and um, seventeen thousandths. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. At that point, I still have one tenth. I'm sorry, that's one hundredth to take away. There's zero hundredths to take away, and to take away two of the ones. One and two. That leaves us with our answer. And our answer then is right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six ones. Our decimal point, we've got a 2 in the tenths place, and we've got a 3 in the hundredths place, and we have a 3 in the thousandths place, or 6.233. If we look at that, we actually can think about that, where if we had the um, inverse operation of adding 17 thousandths there, 17 and 33 is actually that 50 there, and then so we would have that... 50 and the 250 that we have there for our original answer if we added back in the two ones as well. Here is a problem for you to try. We have 7.6 minus 1.45 and then so since we have that there of 1 and 45 hundredths 
this is the, it's the smallest unit, so this is the type of place value chart that we can go ahead and set up. So set up your place value chart and do your work using a place value chart. And then unpause the video and check your work. To set it up, did you start with 7 and 6 tenths? Did you put the 7 in the appropriate spot? 5, 6, and 7, did you place the tenths correctly and the correct number of them? We would actually regroup one of the tenths over to the hundredth place of that 7 um, and 6 tenths to write it in a different unit form so that we can go ahead and subtract. So we have 1 and 45 hundredths that we're subtracting, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 for the hundredths there. For the tenths within the number, we have 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and in the ones place, we have to take away 1 as well. That leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the ones place, and in the tenths place, there's still one more left there, and it looks like we have five in the hundredths place. So our answer is 6.15, or 6 and 15 hundredths. If we actually look at the inverse operation, and we actually run our check, which would be using the traditional algorithm, then we can actually see that we did get the correct answer here, zero, one, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 4 is 6, and then at my decimal point, 7.60, which is the same as 7.6. We also could, of course, have used our traditional algorithm to subtract 7.6 minus 1.45, which I would have set up as follows, making sure to line up those decimal points and also making sure to change that 7 and 6 tenths to 7 and 60 hundredths to match with the 1 and 45 hundredths that I was subtracting from it. Here I'm going to show you one last problem. We have 9 and 3 hundredths minus 3 and 7 tenths. I'll set it up again where it is that we're going to go ahead and go with 1s, tenths, and hundredths since hundredths is the smallest unit that we are looking at within this problem. And then we can go ahead and start with modeling that first number that we are taking away from, or the 9.03. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the ones place, 3 in the hundredths place. And here I'm taking away 3 and 7 tenths. And then so to take away the 7 tenths, I have to take one of these ones and then regroup it to the tenths. 1, 1 is equal to 10 tenths, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then at that point, I can go ahead and take away those 7 tenths there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and then 3 ones. 1, 2, and 3. You'll notice that I did regroup the 1 with them there. That's why there's I could still cross out three of them from this three right here. That leaves us with one, two, three, four, five ones. Um, looks like three tenths and three hundredths. Here's my traditional algorithm with my subtraction here. 3.7 and I can add that zero there. Um, three minus zero is three. Zero minus seven can't do it. The nine becomes an eight. Zero becomes ten. Ten minus seven is three and 8 minus 3 is 5, the decimal point coming straight down. So that's how you can use a place value chart to help you when you are subtracting with decimals.